the elves of Linden, under the leadership of Glorfindel, set out on a military campaign. Five thousand elves head north, blades of the Noldor will, face twenty thousand orcs of Angmar and men of Rudor. The elven army consisted of one thousand five hundred cavalry, two thousand five hundred melee infantry and one thousand ranged. The elves of the Noldor have gone through dozens of battles, their experience of battle dwarfs that of any other division of Middle-earth. The Angmar army consisted of many orcs, hardened in battles with the people of Dunedain and Bree. Armored combat Ologkai and people of Rudor replenished the army of Angmar and at full speed attacked the marching army of elves. Flindle led the horsemen and rounded the front on the left side, going into the rear of the army of Angmar and Rudor. Thanks to the onslaught of the Noldor cavalry, the infantry of the Linden Elves managed to break the unified formation of the enemy army. The enemy could not protect their own flanks and rear, because of which the enemy's army began to suffer huge losses. The enemy decides to retreat, Angmar and the people of Rudor lost 13,000 out of 20,000 in this battle, the elves lost no more than 300 fighters. was defended by more than 10,000 Gundabad orcs, and reinforcements of 5,000 orcs from Dol Guldur arrived in time for the enemy. The elves have erected siege weapons and rushed to storm the fortress. Orcs will be defeated. Olog Kai became a serious obstacle for the infantry of the elves. Spawn of Melkor did not allow them to occupy the walls to advance deep into the fortress. The archers will soon shoot Olog Kai and the path will be open. When the Olog Kai were slain, the Noldor elves calmly began to exterminate the orcs, breaking further and further into the depths of the fortress. 
Orcs begin to quickly lose morale and suffer heavy losses. Thanks to the valor of the elves, the fortress can be taken with minimal losses, the orcs who survived fled, the rest were killed. The elves lost about 400 fighters. After the victory, the elves, having replenished supplies, moved to Dorwinian to free it from the Easterlings, but reinforcements from Harad from the south came to the enemy. The elves were marching up the mountain towards Dorwinian, when suddenly the sound of an advancing army came from the south. Twenty-two thousand army of Harad and Easterlings were approaching the positions of marching elves. A huge number of heavy and medium infantry, archers and all kinds of cavalry, chariots and even mumma kill cubs. The Easterling army will strike first, the leader of the Harad army will remain in reserve, but he still sent the mumma kill cubs into battle. The time has come, the enemy accelerated the march of the army and everyone rushed to the mountain where the elven units were located. Let the great battle begin. Before the enemy climbed the mountain, he felt the tip of tens of thousands of arrows, before the battle began, the enemy had already lost more than 1,000 fighters, the onslaught of Easterlings will be stopped. Defend him. The enemy army loses its stamina and is forced to fight at half strength. The army of Harad finally also enters the battle, in the ranks of the enemy there were many units of the pirates of Umbar and the swordsmen of Aradane. The elves finally also begin to suffer serious losses, endurance is at its limit, there is almost no strength left, the one whose prowess is more outstanding will win. The Easterling army fled the battlefield long ago, having suffered huge losses. The Harad army fought to the last until the Mumakil retreated. The retreat of the Mumakil cubs caused a panic in the ranks of the army of Harad and the enemy faltered. The freedom of Darwinian is restored, the elves, having lost half of their army, decide to retreat through the lands of Gonda, their path lay through the city that was at the crossing over the Anduin. Arriving in the city, Glorfindel learns from the governor about the attack of the army of Mordor and Isengard, the enemy tried to take the city from two sides.
have been revealed. Thank <laughs> you.